We finally arrived at our destination. You can't smoke in here! It's my fault, Tony! I didn't get to tell him. It's his first time in here. Scrooge! You can't smoke cocaine in here! <laughs> cocaine? Mother Gruber, we'll see you all you know. Bina, it's been a while. How are you keeping? Yes. Did you see something dressed in black with chains hanging all over it? Well, yes. Did it hit you across the face? Well, yes. Yes. Of course, I'm going to die now, but Miss Vina, you was right. I was now so intrigued that the village elder Garuba confirmed that Obia no, no, that evil existed. That I rushed home to do some more research. I had to prove that all this superstitious nonsense, as people would call it, was real. I would be the first to actually document the evil from an academic perspective.
The next day, I was making some soup in the evening when I heard someone calling at the door. Good evening. Anybody home? It was her. It was. I'm hiking and I ran out of matches. I was passing through the truck up on the other side of the hill. I see this house and I figured somebody must be living here. So I say, let me check it out and see. Your matches in its spare box? Oh, sorry. My name is Anya. Your matches in its spare box, please. Oh, I didn't mean to badge you like that. Box, please. Something wrong, mister? No, not at all, just... Just the box. The box. Of matches? Yes, yeah, yes, 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 have a seat. My name is Scrooge, John Scrooge. Are you alone? Mm-hmm. All right, John. I'll go get, I'll go get the box of matches. Uh, would you share some of my soup with me? It's almost finished. Why not? I hungry, but um, you are not living here. Yes. But, uh, aren't you afraid of of snakes and, and other creatures of the forest? No. I was born in the forest. And as a little girl, I used to hike with my papa, but he died a few years now. Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear so. On the end. And when you said spirit animal, I became intrigued. So you really like snakes? Like them? I think it's so burning. you change your mind about the soup. Something tells me you're a weird man, Mr. Scrooge. 
and that you don't trust me. Why would you say that? And please, don't call me Mr. It makes me feel kind of old. All right, John. You think I'm working with the devil because of all the foolishness your books telling you about snakes, right? You see, I was born by the river. And I was born with a veil over my eyes. And, and my mother, she died in childbirth. And growing up, I always used to say it was a gift. Well, you see, I think I have a sixth sense. What are you talking about? If you want me to go, I will. No, no, please, no, please. Don't leave. I'm sorry I offended you. But many theories have proved that these extrasensory perceptions or ESP to be wrong because they lack an evidence base. John, I know what I'm saying. It's almost like I get a bad feeling and then something bad happens. This, this gift you said you was born with, um, and these extrasensory perceptions, how did you become so conscious of them? Well, right before my papa died, my grandmother once told me that silence is golden and speech is silver, and a still tongue keeps a wise man. Why are you smiling, John? It's nothing, just, just something I remember as a little boy. So how far are you hiking to? To the top of the ridge. Do you sleep in the bush? Yes. Well, if you wish, if you wish, you can, you can stay here if you want. What? If you want, you can stay here. Stay? Well, it is getting late. Just as long as I don't inconvenience. No, 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 not at all, not at all. Look, you can sleep on the bunk and I will stay on the chair. That won't be necessary. No, please. You're my guest. We chatted for a while about a life in Tobago and, and Trinidad. And every time I touched on the subject of spiritualism and the supernatural, she kept changing the topic. Something told me that Anya knew something about this. And I wondered why she did not want to edify me. Anyway, I decided to stay clear of this subject before she became annoyed. I remember telling her what, what a beautiful girl she is. And then I dropped off to sleep.
after reading the note, I went to the river, took a bath and headed for the village which was three miles away. The exercise was good. But as I walked along, thoughts of Amnia just, just mused my mind. And upon reaching the village, I went to the market, which is very small compared to the one off of Beaton Highway. It was a Saturday, so therefore, there were a lot of people there. Ooh, that's right, that's right, that's right.